this. Next he went on to say to Jessica, was she happy looking at her? How happy was she? And now good sweet, say thy opinion, how dost thou like the Lord Bassanio's wife? Dost, how did she feel what was her opinion regarding Portia as Bassanio's wife? That is the question he asked to know from her. And Jessica said, past all expressions, it is very meet the Lord Bassanio live an upright life. For having such a blessing in his lady, he finds the joys of heaven here on earth. And if on earth he do not merit it, in reason he should never come to heaven. What it all means, Jessica went on to tell, tell Lorenzo, her husband, regarding her opinion, what she thought uh, about Portia, her qualities and Portia as a wife to Bassanio. She said that she had no words to express how beautiful and virtuous this lady Portia was, how good she was. She had no words to describe how beautiful and virtuous and how good this lady Portia was. And she went on to say that it would be very correct and appropriate and necessary for Lord Bassanio, her husband, to lead an upright life, to lead an honest, honourable, straightforward life. And why is that so? For he had been blessed by God with a precious gift in the form of his wife, Lady Portia. And if he would not experience the joys of heaven here on earth, living with uh, his wife, a precious gift and a blessing by God to him, and if he would not show by his behavior that he deserved her, then it would be reasonable morally for him not to be entitled to allow entry for him into heaven after his death. That is what it all means. Then he, she went on to further say, in reason he should never come to heaven, why if two gods should play some heavenly match and on the wager lay two earthly women and Portia one, there must be something else formed with the other for the poor rude world hath not a fellow, meaning to say that Lorenzo would better understand her opinion regarding Portia's value, worth and how beautiful and how good she was as a wife to Lord Bassanio from what she was going to tell him next. And she said, giving him an example, that if two gods in heaven were to enter into a competition with each other, enter into a, a contest with each other and uh, as a reward, stake <coughs> two earthly women, put them as stakes for the game, then one being Portia, sorry, and if the other was to be another woman, something more would have to be added to the other woman to bring her up to the value to make her of the same value as Portia 
to bring her up to that level to equal Porsche's value and worth because the crude world because the unpolished because this raw world this poor world had no one as valuable as a virtuous as Porsche to match her worth again she said that she would come to know her opinion better regarding Porsche being Bassanio's wife with what she was going to tell him next and she said that if two gods were to enter into a contest in heaven and if they were to wager, if they were to put as stakes two earthly women, one being Porsche, the other one being another woman, then something more would have to be added to the other woman to bring her up to the level and the value of Porsche, to equal her in value as uh, of Porsche, because the poor world did not have anyone as beautiful, as virtuous, and as valuable as Porsche. Then Lorenzo, in reply to that, said, Even such a husband has thou of me as she is for a wife. So he questioned to know from her, Did she have as good a husband in the form of him to her as Bassanio had Portia as a wife to him? Was he as good a husband to her as Portia was a wife to Bassanio? And Jessica said, no, but ask my opinion too for that. She said, no stop admiring himself instead ask her what were the good qualities that a good husband should have and not self praise him and ask to know her opinion what she thought about him as a husband uh, she also meant that he should stop self-admiring, admiring himself and ask her what she thought of him as, as a husband in general and not only to her. So Lorenzo then said, I will anon first let us go to dinner. So he said that he would soon ask her for her opinion on what should be the good qualities that a man should have in him as a good husband and not uh, self-praise him and ask her for her opinion regarding him as a husband to her. Very soon he said he would do that and Jessica said, Nay, let me praise you while I have a stomach. Nay, let me praise you while I, have, while I have a stomach. So he said that he would ask her that, but let them first go in and have dinner. And Jessica said, No, allow her to describe him and give her opinion about him as a husband in general, not only as a husband to her, but as a husband in general when she was still in the mood to do so, describe him as a man and as a husband both, and while she was still in the mood to, and while she was still hungry to do so, she also meant with the use of the word stomach, that when she still had the appetite to do so, when she still was hungry and when she was still in the mood to do so, let her describe and appropriately praise and give her opinion about him by her and then Lorenzo went on to tell her 
no Freddy, let it serve for table talk. Then, how some air, how some air, thou speakest more other things, I shall digest it. He meant to say that she not talk about that there, instead go along with him to have dinner and keep that reserved her opinions about him as a husband in general and as a man, keep it reserved and talk about it at the dining table while having dinner amongst other things that she would want to share her opinion on while they would have dinner she could tell him all that and he would readily accept them all whether it would be good or bad regarding him he would all accept it and digest it as he would digest the food that he would be eating uh, then Jessica told him in reply that well I'll set you forth well I'll set you forth means she said yes she would do that she would go along and have dinner and at the table she would share all her opinions regarding him as a husband in general as a man and describe him in detail to help him realize what kind of a husband was he and what kind of a man he was so that he could realize his own worth and she very smartly said to him that she would help him to understand his position in her life by saying I'll set you forth. The meaning in your book is saying, put you in your place means, put you in your place means, let him know his worth at the dining table during dinner. So we'll keep it till there. Prepare well, refer to it. If you have any difficulties, do call me up and ask me. I will ever be happy to, I will always be happy to help you and guide you and solve your problems. Thank you, gentlemen.